everybody. Welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. So glad to be back here with you. If you clicked on this video, it's because you want to know how to find out what version of firmware you have on your flight controller. And if you need to flash the firmware, what version or what target of firmware you need to put on there. Well, the answer is going to be in beta flight when you connect your flight controller. If you are already running a version of beta flight, once you hit connect your flight controller, that button right there, you will see in the top left corner, it will tell you the configurator version, it will tell you your uh, beta flight firmware version, and it will tell you your target for that particular flight controller. Also, if you look at the bottom right hand of the beta flight screen, it will tell you the same information. Now, if that's all you needed to know, then you're welcome. Have a fantastic day. But if you are still confused and you're like, what is this even? I don't, I don't even know what these words mean. Well, let me explain some more of this for you in case you're brand new. So first of all, what is the flight controller? The flight controller is the board, the, the electronic circuit board stuff that lives on your quadcopter. And that is the brain of your quadcopter. That's what has all the sensors. It's kind of like magic. It's also like a small computer and that little computer has software on it or we call it firmware. To be honest, I'm not sure why. Somebody let me know in the comments, but it's called firmware. And so uh, it's good to keep that up to date. And usually what's most common, the most common type of firmware is called beta flight. And beta flight, the way that we change the settings uh, for our drone and interface with the, with the drone is through an app called the Betaflight Configurator app or a software that you download and it's an application that lives on your computer. So if you look at at the top uh, top left or bottom right of when you're in the uh, Betaflight Configurator screen, you'll see it says Configurator 10.7.0 in this case. Um, and that's right now, that's the, that's the latest version, but that's what, that's the version of the application that lives on your computer. And you want to keep that up to date as well. And when it says firmware BTFL, the BTFL stands for beta flight. And that version, in this case, it's 4.1.3. That is what is actually on the flight controller. So that is, that's the version of firmware on the flight controller. And we can use that as a reference. Uh, to when we want to flash the flight controller uh, to figure out whether we need to upgrade the firmware or if it's the newest uh, firmware that is available. And when you are going to flash your firmware, you're going to go to the firmware flashing page. And this isn't really a firmware flashing tutorial, but basically the important thing is where it says target. That is, that's going to tell you which, uh, basically the name of the firmware that you want to put on your flight controller. And flashing just basically means like installing in case you're wondering, because you might be like flashing, why don't they just say install? And that's basically what it is. You're installing that firmware onto your flight controller. And so the target is the name. Now you'll see there's some other information there. You have HAMO slash crazy B four FR. And then you have, uh, in parentheses, STM 32, uh, F411 is just some information about the chips and stuff that's on the flight controller. And then the beginning part, the HMAO, uh, that, it, that doesn't always show up. That might be like the manufacturer or something. So if you look in the actual, the drop down menu for the different types of firmware that you can flash, you'll see the name is just Crazy B. Uh, for FR. So they kind of dropped all the rest of that stuff off of there. So if it doesn't match uh, exactly uh, in the firmware flasher, what it says on the target, uh, for the most part, you're okay, but definitely the Crazy B for FR, you know, there's multiple versions of the Crazy B. So you want Crazy B for FR in this case. All right. And just in case you're like, Adam, I can't even get this connected to beta flight. I don't know what flight controller uh, firmware is on there. Uh, what do I do? Well, what you can do is just go check the manual or the, uh, or the manufacturer's website. And that should tell you the target uh, firmware. So that basically the name of the firmware that you want to flash or install in the flight controller. Also, one thing to note, you definitely want to have an up to date version of the beta flight configurator on your computer, because I believe it's once you get to uh, firmware version 4.2, you need to have that updated version of the beta flight configurator. In this case, it's 10.7.0. So just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have more questions about beta flight and all this kind of quadcopter stuff, especially if you're a beginner, I love helping you guys 
is out. So leave those questions and comments down below. Thanks to a viewer that left a comment about this or a question about this particular subject. That was the inspiration for this video. I do appreciate your questions and comments, even though sometimes it takes me a while to respond to them, but I do appreciate it. And look, if you're still confused and just maybe just plain frustrated with Betaflight and getting your quadcopter set up or repaired or whatever, check out fixmydrone.co for professional FPV drone setup and repair services. And that's me, so I'm kind of plugging my own business. So that's cool. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you again very soon. RC with Adam is brought to you in part by these super awesome people.